Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified. When I post a new video, remember red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock on me. Got my six. I'm going to have my back because I have yours. Um, so the card that turned over is realize, satisfied, and self-actualized. Actual, and it's fulfilled. So you feel fulfilled in an area of your life. And that's a really uh, good energy because you felt like inadequate at one point. Um, the in inadequate says uh, worthless, incomplete, and ill-equipped. But now that tables have turned and you feel confident when it comes to everything that you went through. So again, Tell you no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. So at the same time, so you felt inadequate. So right now you feel fulfilled. At one point you felt inadequate, you felt unfulfilled, you felt angry. Yeah, these are, these are your emotions. You felt angry, powerless, and hateful. Oh, okay. So now you're feeling fulfilled after going through all of the emotions. I'm going to pull from the show me deck, which will show us what you need to know about this situation but again the good thing is that you feel confident with where you are you feel fulfilled because at one point the tables were turned and it says dissatisfied incomplete purposeless mad furious engaged enraged sorry i said engaged resolution of my goals this came out the last read and what to accept so now you know what to accept show me what i need to accept and that is what we're doing so at one point you're confident now because you realize that the things that you were accepting in the past made you feel some type of way. And so now the only thing you can do is figure out a goal and move forward from that, if that makes sense. And so that is, I had to scoot up, that is where we are and what we're trying to figure out. So figuring out a goal and feeling fulfilled at the same time is what you need to know. And I'm going to go ahead and pull... You know, yeah, I'm going to pull from this tarot deck to see. I like this tarot deck. If you guys notice, I've been using it a lot. But uh, sorry, this is so loud. But uh, yeah, what you need to know is why you felt these ways and how to not feel this way again. Um, the cards that come out is the Emperor Energy. We have Two of Cups, Page of Swords. So having clarity about how... You need to, um, when it comes to the emperor energy, respect yourself. So that's the reason why you felt the way you did. And it had, may have had to do with relationships or situationships that you were a part of. The Two of Cups energy is basically a partnership and attraction. So the things that you were attracting made you feel this way. The energies that were in your life and the resolution is Three of Swords energy. It was the heartbreak. That was what you had to go through in order to accept the things that you cannot change, you know, in a person, place, thing, or a situation. So the heartbreak, the three of swords energy, you had to um, deal with the emotional hurt and pain. And, um, you know, uh, when it came to um, feeling unfulfilled and not feeling and feeling less than, if that's, if that's what I kind of want to say. I'm going to pull from... I'm going to pull from the What's the Tea deck. Let's see what comes out in the What's the Tea deck uh, to see the energies that you had to go through or that you went through or the energies that you were dealing with when it came to this situation. Because, again, uh, knowing, yeah, bad karma, things like that. Okay, so bottom of the deck is jackpot. So it doesn't matter because you feel confident um, what, what, um, what to accept um, is that you've hit the jackpot. No matter how you felt in the past, you've learned from it. You were dealing with somebody who was stable, rich, um, that had a lot of affairs, legal issues at the same time. Not necessarily legal issues, but this is justice, consequences of their actions, uh, a dirty offer, and bad karma. So these are the type of energies that you were dealing with. Somebody who felt like they had everything. They, could, they can have their cake and eat it too. It says big, I'll let you read it. Uh, that they can have their energy too. So um, some type of a boss energy, that's where the Two of Cups energy comes in at. And it made you feel less than. And so when it comes to 
having balance, uh, the justice energy is doing the right thing. Um, this person gave you a dirty offer. Um, the dirty offer could have been something like, you know, this is what I'm used to. Um, you know, this is what I'm used to. You know, the clarity is, is that the emperor energy, you had to respect yourself enough to walk away from the heartbreak. And so that is kind of how I see that energy when it comes out. So the resolution of the goals is to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. When you overcome heartbreak or when you're confident enough within yourself, the clarity you have to have is that not all situationships last, not all relationships. And this energy too, karma is a way of a wheel can come back to this person and make them really realize where they are. And the the reason why I don't like to put that energy out there is like an Ebenezer Scrooge moment. They'll have it when it's time. It's, it's up to divine timing. It has nothing to do with you. It's, it's basically based on divine timing. And so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck. What is this? Oh, another card came out. Charm, clever. This is from the uh, purposeful career deck. So somebody that was charming and very clever um, hooked you. And it says working smart, working smart to get the work done, focusing on the basics to get better, res be better solutions. Sometimes you just need to keep it simple. And then it says charm. You are me mesmerized. You mesmerize people with your charm and elegance. Uh, you have... Um, a style that captivates your audience use your confidence to your advantage that's what this boss daddy did that's why they reached the top that's the reason why they were having third parties and now the consequences of their actions um, are at hand um, because they offered you um, certain energies and made you feel all types of energies and so what you need to know is that to resolve everything that you need to uh, that you have to go through, you need to understand how karma works. It doesn't work on your time, and that's all you need to know. Just basically that. So a clever individual, a charming individual, somebody with big, big energy, whether male or female, somebody who is who feels like they're untouchable, that always is like my way or the highway. Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So when it's charming energy, they're the person who turns around, yeah, and realizes when um, the well has run dry that they're sorry and the so-called love energy and also the chaser. So um, they become the chaser. Instead of being the runner, they ran from certain situations, they become the, the chaser. And so it says... Instead of trying to convince, and this is karmic energy, instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth, redirect that energy into other areas in your life. Trust, relax, be patient, and surrender. That's why you feel fulfilled and confident within a situation. And this is when it comes to uh, what you need to accept is that you did everything you could. The heartbreak came from somebody feeling some type of way. It says so-called love. It says, the connection is so intense it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. It is, is it love you feel or addiction? And that's toxic energies, uh, karmic energies, and that's where it comes in at you, the so-called love thing. And that's the reason why the clever energy, the energy of they can have their cake and eat it too, is when it comes back around to, I'm sorry, forgiveness. Sorry, I ain't sorry. You know, it says your twin either wants to apologize or it's time that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done. This will help you heal from the past. And so the offer is, you know, they want to apologize or the past consequences of their actions, you know, justice energy, them doing the right thing is them realizing that this, you know, them feeling like all of this energy is here. Now the tables turn, bridges burn, you know, is causing this for them to happen because they're trying to figure out why is it that I feel this way and it's because they gave you an energy that you you know at one point you were so in, in love that you know and it was such toxic energy that you couldn't refuse it and you allowed things to happen but once you realized that this is not a situation that you want to be a part of and that you know you're doing the right thing by 
walking away and rebuilding from heartbreak, you know, um, is where they have to realize that a lot of the the energy came from them and not you, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to pull from the finance deck to see what they're talking about because you felt inadequate, unfulfilled, angry, powerless, and hateful, which was, you know, you know, you wanted vengeance. And, and it's just like, no, move forward because you're going to hit the jackpot because at the end of the day, yeah, you have to change. They have You have to be the change that you want to see, but you ask the universe to help you. It says, this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for. There is a career or blessings lining up for you, so stay positive and believe. Pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time. And so that is all you had to do is that realize that one day you're going to hit the jackpot. One day you're going to realize that you treated people the way that they want. You weren't dirty. You loved somebody. You wanted clarity. You wanted to be yourself in a love situation or um, when it comes to, <clears throat> excuse me, the emperor energy, you just wanted to um, have some type of stability and structure in your life. But that came with you being yourself and they always made you feel like it was not enough. So the emotions, the writer and the change is there. The motion says your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. That's why the so-called love is here. And then it says earn money doing something that you love or a dream job might be offered to you. So again, this is where you are fulfilled now because you stopped dealing with your emotions when it came to trying to figure out what this person was thinking, the clever energies, what they were doing. And you started writing your own story. And it says story matters. It says your words have uh, power to influence influence others find out how you can contribute and it says a career in social media management a book writing a social media management book writing content writing and blogging could be for you use use words and visuals it uh excuse me use words and visuals it it as you write yo excuse me never mind <laughs> use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. And so you're learning the power of trusting in the universe and learning how to manifest things. And it costs, it costs for you to change the way you looked at things and to realize jackpot and you're confident and you feel fulfilled right now because in the past you were chasing the energy, but you asked the universe to help you get through this energy and help you get through this heartbreak. And um, again, send strength and healing period to a person, place, thing, or situation who you may have felt have wronged you, but they might have taught you a lesson at the same time. Their charm, their cleverness taught you how to be more business savvy and not to really think with your emotions to have emotional control. That's the King of Cups energy, um, and you need to understand that. So thank this person. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher, whether male or female. This person, place, thing, or situation taught you a lesson. They taught you how to see a bigger picture, to have mental clarity, to be uh, disciplined and have structure and also to have emotional balance and emotional control. And that's everything that you needed to know. So the resolution was to get, get, get through it and to change and change, change meaning to not feel this way, to feel fulfilled and confident because you know that the universe has your back. It says there is a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. It says sometimes to see the change, you must be the change. And I think I said that earlier. You got to be the change that you want to see. Um, and that is kind of how I see that energy. So I think this was a really good read. I'll pull from the evolution of the soul just to clarify a little bit more. Um, I was going to say I didn't use tarot, but I did. I got the emperor, the page of swords, and what is this? And for the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups, yeah. So I'm pulling for the evolution of the soul. And you know what? I'm going to pull energy for them, authentic living. Yeah, be yourself. And that's what I told you the emperor energy is, is to be yourself. It says being your true self is important. Inspire others to live authentically. You value honesty and openness, and that's what you wanted. You would have been okay if you this person would have been honest and open with you and not just live this facade and this so-called thing because, again, the boss, big, big D energy, and all of this uh, dirty offers that they did was to um, – 
and to spite you because of they knew your emotions. And so once you change that energy and, you know, you started to get into your queen, because this energy here, not inadequate, but unfulfilled, angry, and hateful, um, powerless, no, because you set direct boundaries, um, clear boundaries, direct not boundaries, but you're very unbiased. So it made you get into, um, I want to say the King of Cups in reverse, um, yeah, which is cold, coldness, like cold, cold um, energy that in your uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse, it made you get into that energy mastery. So you mastered how to be feel fulfilled and confident within yourself. And that's how you're able to hit the jackpot. That is what you needed to learn is how to master, uh, how to have confidence and to feel fulfilled in a process of feeling a certain way because you're living authentically. And it says mastering what you're being called to, conquering your life missions and discovering your true self. And that is what you ask the universe to help you with. You ask the universe to help you um, find a resolution to your goals. And also, um, what did this say? Um, what to accept. And that is what it is. You accepted help from the universe. And that's how I see that energy. So let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we'll go ahead and let this energy go. This old energy go. Yeah, I just believe that that's a really good read. Because you have what it takes to be able to fulfill any dreams that you want. But you have to be able to master your emotions. And that's the hard part about it. You have to know. When I was younger, I used to... Um, my, my grandbaby says to be happy, sad, and she cries and she laughs at the same time. And that's what I used to do. So I understand when she says that, what that means, because I used to be a crybaby. I mean, I still, I'm a crybaby still. My kids will tell you I'm a crybaby, but um, I learned how to master my emotions in the outside world. <laughs> I'll say that um, I don't cry as much when I'm crying. That's when I'm turning into a Sour Patch Kid outside of my family because it has to be something that you piss me off about so nine times out of ten if i'm crying run and that's with any cancer um, because we don't know how to use those emotions the right way so we go from zero to 100 unless it's with family we still will go to 100 they'll just we'll just be noted as cancer is crazy and a crybaby but in actuality we know what the real situation is is somebody's taking your kindness for a weakness and making you feel all of these different ways except not you know and not feeling fulfilled and so we have to learn to change how we look at our emotions or change how we are and change our emotions in order to be able to create our own story our own narrative and not just be considered a crybaby cancer so it says be impeccable with your words this is when we learn how to say what we want mean what we say seek to know the truth and so you're going to find the truth out in every situation before you even get into it. That's the change that you need to know in order to be comforted and fulfilled in every situation. It says, when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And so living authentically, living your truth, creating your story, creating your narrative, changing how you see things is the way to be. And then this one is the how light. It's the third eye chakra. Yes, awareness, calming, and spiritual. Awareness, calming, and spiritual. I was going to say I have a how light here, but I put all my crystals. They're here, but not in plain sight. You can see some of them, but not all of them. But anyway, the how light. I am attuned to pure, infinite energy. I am attuned to pure, infinite energy. And that is the how light. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I love you guys. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.